Hello, scientists. How was your weekend? Did you make any interesting observations? Wow! I love hearing that you're using your five senses to observe the world around you. Yes. I was making a lot of observations this weekend, too. I went for a walk along the beach, and wow, was it lovely. The loud waves were crashing against the sand. Birds were flapping their wings and making noise. Trees would wave in the wind, and the fog would envelop me and give me chills. It was such a fun experience. I continued with my walk along the beach and used my sense of sight to take things in. And I saw some pretty interesting things. Can I tell you some of the things that I saw? Gracias. Yes. I didn't take pictures, but my friend drew, made some drawings for me that I can show you. Let's see here. <gasps> ah, yes. So on my walk on the beach, I encountered a crab shell, dried seaweed, a seashell, a sand dollar, a crunchy feather from a seagull, and an empty soda can. All of these items were like treasures to me, but then my scientific brain turned on. I had so many questions. Where did these items come from? Did somebody leave them here? But then I thought deeper about where they came from. I noticed that some of these things came from animals and plants, so then I wondered, are any of these items still alive? And then that really got me thinking, scientists, how do I know when something is living? I thought I knew, but when I tried to see if these items fit into my categories, they didn't make sense. Oh. Sorry, scientists, I didn't really make sense either. Let me explain myself. I thought that if you were a living thing, you had to breathe, eat, drink water, move, have a face, and be able to communicate. I know that humans, animals, and plants are living things, and some of these items were from those things. For instance, the seaweed is a plant, and the crab shell and the feather are both from animals, but these items didn't really seem alive. But scientificos, if it comes from a living thing, shouldn't it also be alive? I'm not sure either. I think this is something we need to research, scientificos. But before we explore and find some evidence, we should write some things into our notebooks. You also have your scientific notebooks, right? <sighs> okay, great. Well then, please take out your scientific notebook and a writing utensil. Bueno, scientists. How do we start each and every entry in our notebook? Si, sí, bravo! We start with the date, the page number, and a title. The title for this entry will be Living versus Non-Living Things. Let's write these things before we get started. You can copy me. So, February 1st. 2021, I think this is page nine in my entry. Wow, page nine. Let's do the title a different color. Living versus, this is a short way to write versus non living things. Oops, I forgot to like the last letter, capital, last word, a capital word. Living versus non-living things, okay. We went trabajo. Now, I would like for us to write the question that I have, which is how do we know when something is living? Let's take a moment to jot that down. How? Do we know? And I'm write these in capital letters. How do we know when something is living? Mm, I think it's better to say alive. How do we know when something is alive? Eso. Awesome. But before we get started answering this question, scientists, I think we should take some time to identify some things that we know for certain are living things, are living as well as things we know are non-living. During the last season of SF Loves Learning, we made a ton of T-charts together, and I was hoping we can make one today to help us sort out our thinking. 
If you have small handwriting, you can continue with your T-chart on this page. If not, you can turn it over and write it there. If you need to start on a new page, do not write today's date and title again, but do be sure to write the page number on the bottom. Actually, I'll just show you how to continue an entry in your notebook. Y'all are gonna turn the page, but I have to move my poster. My last page was nine, so the next page is 10. See, I just got a new page and put the page number at the bottom. Now I can continue. So my wonderful Cientificos, we're going to make a T chart. I'm gonna make mine with squiggly lines because I don't have a ruler. And at the top of my columns, I'm going to write living and non-living. Please follow along with me. Mm. No, that didn't work. So let's do the squiggly T. And I said we would write living, non-living. Muy bien. I'm going to write some things that I know are living and things that I know are non-living. I want all of you to do the same thing. You can follow along with me or you can come up with your own. I'm going to draw my items instead of writing them and you could choose whichever you prefer. I'm going to draw a human because I know we're living. And what else can I draw? Hmm. Oh, well, cup is not living. I know that for sure. Hmm. <gasps> plants are living. I think people will know that this is a plant. Hmm. <gasps> Animals are living. I'm gonna draw my dog Waldo. Walls are not living. This wall has bricks, like in the three little pigs. Oops, that one has an extra brick. Okay. Scientificos, did any of you come up with the same things that I had come up with? Que chido, how cool. You know, I was wondering, where would my beach items go on the T-chart? I mean, how do I know if these items are living or non-living? Oh, I guess you're right. One of them is obvious. The soda can is definitely a non-living thing, object. But the rest, I'm not entirely sure about. You know, maybe we should figure out what things my items that I have here have in common and if I find something that humans, animals, and plants have in common, it might help me figure out where to sort my beach items. Uh-oh, I just realized the time though. Scientists, can you actually do that on your own? Figure out what your items in each column have in common? Buenísimo, I'm gonna to have to do that as well. But I'm also going to do some research for us tonight. Thank you for learning with me today. I can't wait to hear what kind of connections you make tomorrow. Nos vemos.